There's an old saying in the mining industry that the most important thing that comes out of a mine is the miner. Safety is important to me because I'm a mother, I'm a wife. So safety is important because if I work on safety, it's not only me that is going to suffer, my kids are going to suffer. So I make sure each and every day I'm working safe. So we had a fatality in September 2015 where one of our diesel mechanics was doing fault finding on a machine when the operator accidentally uh, reversed and, and pinned him to the football. It's, it's absolutely heartbreaking and you feel responsible personally. That was the moment we, us as a leadership team, had made the decision that we cannot continue with just the awareness system and we had to go and look into the markets and find a better solution or new technology that will stop the machines from interacting or making contact with our employees. You know, when something doesn't exist, it's a question of going out into industry and asking the questions. What we did then discover is that it existed, but not from one OEM. We then combined all the experts and the expertise to find a solution. The process that we had to follow was then taking the guys through the potential different scenarios it would have in an underground operation and work through all those scenarios and then find the technology from the different OEMs and implement that accordingly. The collision avoidance technology consists of basically three companies, Lamproom Solutions, which is responsible for the management side of the lamp rooms, and Embedded IQ, which is responsible for the time of flight or collision avoidance side of the technology, as well as Neurospec, which is the company that developed the interface unit. The leading challenge that we saw in the space was around reliable detection. Secondly, we also realized that if we were to introduce a solution which automatically stopped a machine when a person was in proximity to that machine, that would actually bring a standstill to the mine. So we had a look at the thing objectively and decided we needed to engineer a solution which, number one, protected the miner around a machine, but also, number two, allowed controlled interactions between people and machines to take place. Because obviously that's necessary in the mining environment. You can't mine if, if you don't have these controlled interactions taking place. So the solution we delivered for the Glencore project was really about fitting equipment that we designed into a number of places. Number one, we fitted equipment onto the vehicle. So the vehicle has four or six antenna modules located at the extremities of the vehicle. And so number two, the miner has an electronic tag which is part of his cap lamp system. That electronic tag interacts in a radio frequency sense with the antenna modules mounted on the vehicle. When we are on 10 meters, the cap lamp will warn you. That tells you, you are close to the machine, you must watch out. When we are on critical zone, you are five meters from the machine, the machine will stop. Also, in the mine we've got other controlled places where the mine would like to have these various interactions between vehicles and people taking place. In those locations we fit uh, certain modules. One example is at the tip operation where the vehicle drives into the tips and dumps their load. We've got something that you call beacon. That beacon button, when the machine is close, they press the beacon button to accept the machine, to give the machine the go-ahead that it must come in. But if they didn't press that beacon, the machine will stop. So what that allows us to do is it allows us to prevent threats from interrupting the operation when they're not true threats. So it reduces false positives that the system might detect. And then lastly, our modules in the lamp room are responsible for testing the tag and for ensuring that the various key functional aspects of the tag are functional before the miner goes underground. It was a comprehensive mine management system that we deploy in the lamp room that controls all the activities. And it's very important going forward because this is where the reporting gets generated and this is where the human behavior trends will be monitored in terms of how people interact with the machines. I think once the workforce are, are trained out to use it and they understand the system, it's a no-brainer for them. Taking that minute or two just to test their kit before they go on the ground also gives them a sense of security. Because of this new technology, I feel safer. Also, my team feels safer because there's no accidents anymore between the machines and people. And this is three years down the line. There is no other technology that I know of that is accurate as the technology that we have implemented at Waterfall. So for me it's personal. Um, I like to, to think that every change we make, every technology we implement, makes a difference in somebody's lives. It's a strange space we operate in sometimes because the changes you do and the lives you do save are the people you never meet. And that for me is, is a constant drive. Safety isn't anything that you can stop thinking about. It's something we have to do daily in every aspect of our lives.